Good morning YouTube. Gonna do a bit of a, a live stream guide to let's play Euro fishing this morning. Gonna do a, it's gonna be um, float fishing. Bit of a beginner's guide to float fishing. So what I'll do, I'll talk you through the tackle setup that I use and how I go about it. So let's take it from there. Let's jump straight in. Right, we'll go to the tackle box first of all. So you can see that I've created a few different tackle boxes for the various styles that I use. So my tackle box two is the one we'll look at. So what I've done, I've whipped my way up with tackle points to unlock the Hiachu float rod, 11 foot float rod, and the Hihachu float reel. So I've set that up on two rods. One's got four pound line, Guru Pulse four pound line. The other one's got six pound line. I've also set up my rigs, which you can see I've got four different float rigs. So starting with the smallest, which is the 18, then the 16, the 14, and the largest, which is the 12. Across in the baits, I've set up four different baits. We are You are limited to four baits in your tackle box at any one time. I think they should open it up so you can have more. Um, you've got space there to the right under the third rod that you could add more. We could have like eight baits in our in our um, tackle box, which would be much better. Uh, but as for now, we're stuck with the the four. So what I've selected is um, just the small smaller baits for using on the float. So we've got a small single sweet calm sinking sinking version we've got sinking white bread flakes i've gone for the red maggot and the dendrobina worm now that's that's a great all-round bait for bream tench roach and even carp so you can't go wrong really with the worm um red maggot if they're becoming a bit worry bread flakes Always a favourite with the likes of Bream and Roach uh, and Single Sweet Corn. Then again, same again. You've got Bream, Tench, Roach. They all like it. So they're the target fish, really. We don't really want to be hooking into any uh, big carp because you'll just struggle to um, bring them in. They'll either snap you or get off or you know you're gonna lose the fish especially fishing on such light lines so we just target the smaller fish in this session so I'll just jump across to tackle shop and show you which ones I unlock so the path I chose to get the float rod and reel was along here so you work your way up float here height to however you say it float reel and the 11 foot float rod now they will you'll find if you unlock those they are much better than the rod that you start with the default rod it, it's not very responsive for striking so if you can't if you're going to go down the float fishing route there are the two things that you need to unlock line wise I've unlocked the three, the four, the five, the six, um, all in the the lower breaking strength lines. So I tend to use the four and the six. Bait, um, if you're new to the game, when you start off, I suggest you unlock the baits first. Before you unlock any tackle, unlock your baits and unlock the hooks and the floats 
So along here we should have the floats, so they're, they're in this direction. So I've unlocked all the floats, so the 18s, 16s, 14s and 12s um, are all unlocked. So yeah, that's, that's my little guide to which route to go down. So we'll go back to profile. I'll show you, give you a little look at what the target fish that we're going to look for, try and hook. We're going to fish St. John's this morning. Um, now in St. John's, I haven't caught any of the smaller species. So we're going to target these along this top row. So from the 15 pound bream down to the three pound common roach and get these named fish out of the way but we're going to fish on float for these now when you do look at it you can see each boss fish has a description and in the description it gives you a little bit of a hint as to what bait those particular fish like now it's only a rough rough idea uh, so this one in particular, known to favour toasted bread soaked in salmon or shrimp flavouring. Now there is no salmon or shrimp flavouring that you can choose from in the game, but you can select bread. If we jump back to the tackle box, in here we've got different types of bread. So we've got bread punch, little circles of bread. Good for catching roach as well as other fish in clear water on virtually any venue. Then we've got white bread flakes. Um, an effective bait for targeting small bream, tench, roach, carp. And then we've got white bread crust. Crusted loaf, very buoyant bait, devastating for surface feeding fish like carp and tench. So I've gone for the white bread flakes in my um, tackle box. I don't think there's any other any other bread. There's just those ones. You've got your vegetables and the live live bait. So right, let's go back to game modes. We're gonna go into we'll go into. Go into single player and freedom fishing, and we're going on St. John's. And I'm going to change the starting time, I'm going to change that to first light. I'm going to go on four o'clock, leave all the rest um, as default, and I'm just going to make sure my tackle box is tackle box two, which is the one that's got my float, rod, reel, baits, etc. You can change between the four different ones and the default. But yeah, so we're going to select our float fishing gear. And hit play. Takes a little uh, time to load up, but here we are. Right. I have a few target areas on the lake. You can see you've got seven teleport points. Now, I like to fish the corners float fishing. So this corner, um, this corner. This teleport point gives you two corners in the centre of the lake. This corner and here. I like to start at this one though. So we'll teleport in. 
Now, before we get to the peg, I know a few people that have played it, they end up wandering around the lake or backing out the game in order to choose another teleport point. Well, you don't need to. If you go up to one of the signs, that show you the map of the lake, when you walk up to it, you get an option to quick travel. You click that and it brings you back to the map so it will let you select a different area rather than backing out and having to reselect or wandering around the lake which can take about five minutes well maybe maybe longer to get all the way around um, just just go up to one of the signs and it quick travel so I'm gonna move on to the peg holding your right trigger lets you walk quicker Now this is a designated peg, but you weren't limited to fish from this peg. You can fish from other areas, so if you can get close enough to the edge, you will get the option to cast out, which pops up in the corner, tells you that you can cast in this area. So before we cast, we're going to look around the lake. Now, it is pretty good, the physics in this game. You can see in the top right hand corner, you've got your time of day and the direction of the wind. Now, the big fish do tend to follow the wind. So, if you was fishing for big carp and you, were, you was fishing from this peg, I would cast across to the far side where the wind is blowing because like I said they do follow the wind but we're gonna go for the little small ca uh, fish so here should be all right we'll give it a try if we don't get any bites we'll move on to another point part of the lake so first things first bring your inventory up check what float you've got selected and which bait now we're gonna start off using the smallest and with the smallest I'm going to use the smallest bait so it's the smallest size waggler which is the 18 which in fact it's an 18's hook so with that use your smallest bait and we'll just take it from there so we'll select the red maggot we'll close that and we're going to cast in now I'm going to fish in this corner so it's not a, a long cast, so if you click your right, left stick, we'll swap to the short cast. And we're going to cast out as far as we can. Right, that was, he pulled the rod for some reason then, so we're going to do it again. So, get our cast, turn in that direction, fish, f fish in the corner and lower the rod as it goes in. So your lot rod's lowered, pushing up on your right stick. Holding your right trigger, tap the left trigger and it'll tighten the line. It'll, it'll pull the float back to you or, towards you slightly. And now it's just a game of patience and waiting for the bite. When it goes, you want to pull down fast on the right stick so it raises the rod straight up to strike at the fish strike at the bite so like I say it's like real fishing got to be patient and there you go patience pays off you eventually get a bite so once you've got it on you can see bottom left hand corner distance depth that the fish is at and in the green bar you've got 12 that's the percentage of drag that you've got set on your reel if you turn it up 
the fish won't be able to take any line. If it was on 100%, the fish wouldn't be able to take any line. And if it's too strong, it would snap you, snap your line. So I, I normally leave it around 12, 10. And there's our first fish. A roach. A 1.13 ounce roach. That's give us 13 XP and 29 tackle points. So there you go, that's a first start. That was on a single red maggot on an 18's hook. So we'll let it go. We'll give it another try. Let's just turn, get a cast. Let's cast in the corner again. Not quite as far this time. So like I said, like before, push down on the rod, push up on the, the right stick, puts the rod down. Hold your right trigger, tap your left trigger, tighten your line up. As long as that line's tight, when it, you do get a bite and you strike, you should hook the fish pretty much straight away. If you've got too much slack, like that, you miss the bite. So this time going to try again, make sure we've took all the slack out the line. There we go. You see the flip float move back towards you slightly when you took the, uh, made the line up tight enough. Love all the ambient noise in this game. The lapping of the water and the birds singing, and the wind. It's definitely the best, in my opinion, the best fishing game out there at the moment. And probably the best fishing game that there's, there's been made. Um, played a few different ones. This is the uh, first European style of fishing, hence the name Euro Fishing. Got that one, that was a poor strike, it was a little bit slow. You, you do need to be quick, once you, the float starts moving off, you need to be quick on the strike. Bring this in, see what this is. Hopefully, a different species, hopefully, a tench or a, a bream. I have a feeling it's another roach, though. Roach have a, tend to be a bit erratic. Oh no, it's a tench. There we go, got a little tench. Take a screenshot. A little tench. So, if you want to document your catches, you probably know already. But um, if you if you're new to Xbox One, double tapping the Xbox Guide button brings up the option for video capture the last 30 seconds of gameplay, or press Y and you get the option to do a screenshot. So we'll release that. What we'll do. We'll have a little wander down this edge and I'll show you another favourite fishing spot on St John's um, that I like, which is down this side. Um, down this edge here you will come across an overflow spill pipe from this this top up reservoir here. 
has an over overflow that runs out into St. John's here. Now, smaller fish and some of the larger fish like this area because they get some free natural bait, natural food that spills out of the pipe. So they do, you do get some rather large cats and carp in this area feeding and also some of the smaller fish. So what we're going to do, we're going to just do a little underarm cast right here. Another line up. Give him a little bit more. Let's see what takes the bait. This time we've got a good hook, good strike. We didn't have to wait long though. fish so lift the rod up and as you drop it down real fast tapping the left trigger reels quicker than just holding the left trigger so if you keep tapping it it'll reel in much quicker and we've got another nice roach took a screenshot of that Let's have one more cast in this area. Don't forget, push up as you cast the rod. Push up and he dips the rod down. Hold your right trigger. Bring the flow back to you. Tighten up the line. That's what it's about. Sometimes you get a bite straight away, other times you get a wait. Normally only a few minutes at the most when you're fishing on the float. If you don't get anything, just recast. Fast reel forward, pull back, fast reel, pull back, fast reel. Got it. This is another roach. Oh no, a tench. As you can see, with the right line, fish light, use small, small hooks, small bait, and you do get instant bites, pretty much instant bites, and you will target the, the smaller fish. So I'm going to show you one more of my favourite areas, which is 
around this side. We're now into the middle of the lake area. I'm going to go past the abandoned bivvy. The first time I saw this I thought there was someone, someone else in the game with me. Even though I was in single player mode. So all this bivvy sat here. I was expecting someone else to be fishing. But no, it's an abandoned bivvy. The ghost peg. Why there is an abandoned bivvy in the game, I don't know. I don't know if it's a clue to the best peg. To a good area. Or what. But yeah. There's an abandoned bivvy. So if you walk past the abandoned bivvy, following the pegs, you'll come into this corner over here. Now on this one, I like to fish from the peg. So we'll claim the peg. What I like to do is cast into the corner up there towards towards the bull rush reeds. So we'll cast. Rather than underhand, we're gonna give it a a full cast. Not not fully charged cast, but we'll give it halfway. Let's see how far it goes. Right. And once again, hold your right. Tap your left trigger. Tighten up that line. Now we're fishing in two foot deep, and the actual depth of the water, the depth of the lake there is 2.4 feet. So we're just off the bottom. Now fishing just off the bottom is good for tench and bream. Roach are more of a a mid mid-depth feeder oh we missed that one it came towards me made the line slack so let's try again let's go in the same area so about halfway this time we'll draw back a little bit more So we're actually on the bottom now. The white in the bottom right, and bottom left hand corner, the white number of 2.0 feet is. Oh, missed it again. Is the depth that you're fishing at, and the blue is the actual depth of the lake in that area. Up too hard. So you can slow it down, you cast, holding the right trigger. So let's try again. Fishing at distance on the float is a little bit trickier. As you can see. A little bit trickier because you've not got the same response when you strike because there's so much line out I'm going to bring it a bit closer this time Again, what I'm going to do is try not casting quite as far. See if we can draw. 
through all the fish out. So it's slightly deeper though. Three and a half feet deep. Try one more cast. See if we can hit the next bite. <laughs> and if need be, we'll see if we can get closer. Around the other side. Poised. Oh, something might be nibbling at the uh, the end of the other rod that's just dangling in the water off the pod. Right, it's not working, so we're gonna close the peg. And we're gonna walk around this side. Get a little bit closer. Cast in. Now it won't let me cast in from here. So I'm going to have to go round. Try from this other edge. So if you walk along the edge. Find it pops up in the bottom right left trigger to cast. Right here would be a nice area if it had let me cast. But it's not looking like we can. So stuck really. said it would let you cast from round here but maybe not. Let's have a little little wander down this edge so we can find any more spots. Aha now here looks like a decent spot. Now if I was fishing from here on the float I would be fishing in the margin. I wouldn't cast out in the middle not with a float, but I would cast here, down this edge. Might not be hard enough for huh? Oh, too hard. Reset. Let's do an underarm, underarm cast. Which is what I want. To fish just in front of these reeds here. bubbles coming up all around and we've got a bite and we're in. So you, as you see when you're fishing a lot closer it's far more responsive to hook the fish. It 
looks like from the silhouette it's another tench Side strain on it, and caught the, caught the little tench. There we go. One more fish. Let's see if we can catch one more. A bream would be nice, but we don't mind as long as we're catching. goals when you least expect it. Um, we're in. We're in again. Let's see what sort of pattern this fish brings. Carp, you'll find carp when you hook a carp, it'll just go. And you'll, you'll, you'll have to fight to bring it in. This one got something different this time in the silhouette we've got a bream now a bream normally give you a bit of a, a fight and then it'll give up like it did then it reaches the end of its run and it just says oh I'm too tired for this just bring me in put me back in the water so let's net it there you go our bream three pound 15 ounce so that was the biggest biggest fish of the session and i'm gonna end it there if you've got any questions stick it in the comments below hope you enjoyed the video and tight lines for your next fish if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll be adding more fishing let's play euro fishing videos soon my next episode will probably be um fishing for some bigger fish the carp uh on the the larger rods so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you again soon